Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the advanced armor plugin. So this is a really cool plugin which is an overpowered way for your players to earn more money, XP, tokens, you name it. This plugin does it. So the cool thing about this plugin is it can hook into a ton of other different plugins which provide uh, tokens or money to your players and we are going to jump straight into it. So there's a few different armor types which we can see in here. I've got a few of them. You can see they have different names and whatnot. So if you have a look at any of the pieces, it will tell you what the enchantments are, of course. They're pretty powerful. Um, and then down below, it tells you the boost each of them gets. So if you stack multiple of the same type um, while wearing them, you're gonna get a bigger boost of, say, XP or money. Now XP doesn't require any other additional plugins, obviously, it's just built into vanilla Minecraft. If you want a money boost, obviously you need to have an economy plugin, and when you either sell stuff, you will get an extra 15% or 60%, depending on how many of these pieces you are wearing. And then if you use another plugin, which has mob coins, and you're wearing this suit, you will get an extra percentage for that as well. This one also has a money boost, and this one does as well. And then there is another set which will give you more gems. So if you had some sort of gems plugin for a prison server, you would be able to get a higher percentage for those. So that's kind of the gist of it. It's really cool that it allows you to do that. And if you make those, you can make more money. And if we do four slash armor, that's going to show us the main commands. And if we do armor types, we can see the different uh, ones that exist. So here they are, by default there's just five of them and I've made that one down below. So obviously you can customize this in the config file which we'll have a look at. Um, but all we need to do is just do forward slash armor give followed by the person you want to give it to. Then the armor type, so let's go with fire for example and then the piece of armor. So you can go for helmet, chest plate, boots or leggings. And obviously we can hover over it and then see how much XP we're going to get from that. So if I give myself a diamond sword, and let's spawn some pigs. And we saw how much XP I got then. So if I take it off and kill another one, you can see I didn't get quite as much XP from it. So that's the sort of thing the plugin can do. Now if you do change anything in the config file, you can do full slash armor reload, and that's going to reload the config. And then you probably saw in here, I started making my own one. It's very easy to create your own. All you need to do is just copy and paste one of the existing ones and obviously customize it to your liking. Um, so all I really did here was just change the name of it. Um, but obviously you could change the different enchantments and the lore to tell people what the bonuses are. Um, and then you can obviously change the color as well. So let's have a look at that now. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. And as you can see, there is a single YML file. If we open this up, we can see what we can change in here. So up at the top, we've got a few things. So the money armor, economy dependencies. Do we want essentials enabled? Yes or no. Shop GOI plus enabled, ultra prison, etc. So if you have any of these plugins, um, obviously you want to enable this to allow your players to get an extra 15, 20% when uh, doing transactions. Then we've got the coin armor hook. So if you've got any of these, make sure you enable them. Same for the token and gems. If you're using any of this stuff, make sure you enable it here. Then we have the armor and the types. So here is the fire one, it goes all the way down here. And this is what you would copy and paste and change. So what we've got is obviously the name um, and the different colors. So you can uh, change the name, change the color, um, and then the armor color here. If you want to know what the other armor colors are, we scroll all the way to the bottom. And here they are. So you can choose from maroon, aqua blue, gray, pink, etc. So pick any of those and then you can stick it in there. Um, if we have a look at my server minor one, you can see I've changed that, I changed it to red. And then law, obviously gradient, you could change these colors here as well if you wanted. And this one currently is a token boost. So you could change any of this stuff that you wanted. Down here you can see the percentage increase for each, um, each one. And then the type, so this one is obviously gem, and then this one might be token and this one might be gold or money, etc. So you can really just change that to whatever you want. We've got a few flags here. So we do, do we want it to be unbreakable? And then do we want to hide that it's unbreakable? Hide attributes and hide enchants, yes or no? And then here are the two enchants listed. So for this one, it's only unbreaking and protection, but I believe the fire one has fire protection as well. So you could change all the enchantments and just list loads of them there and make it more powerful. So here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.18. 
if we scroll down you can see all the information here here are the soft dependencies so if you want to use a certain type of armor like money tokens gems etc you're going to want one of these to allow that and then as i mentioned here are the different boosts that you have so if you need money that's an economy plugin tokens that can be a prison plugin and etc and then here are the commands and the permissions so that is the plugin if you want to download it head over to the speaker page but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time